Hello and welcome to the Mercury Vapor Glow channel. Today I'd like to present you this West German Siemens 5NA fixture that takes 80 or 125 watt mercury vapor bulbs. This uh, fixture had also a name in the trade. It was called the Kleiner Klassiker, that means a little classic. And uh, this is because this fixture was made for very, very long. They started the production of the predecessor of this fixture that was a little rounder design, but technically almost the same as this one in the 60s and continued production until to the 2000s. So it was uh, in production very, very long time. At the beginning with the 80 or 125 watt version and later of course also with high pressure sodium bulbs. And uh, this particular fixture here, as you can see, is a very weathered one. It's a fixture that has, uh, I know actually it was privately owned by a church and uh, it was lit up for all night long for probably 40 years or so, it worked a lot. The bulb that was in it was very, very used. And unfortunately, it was a very old mercury vapor bulb. It still worked. It was very, very dim, but the socket was loose and broke off as I got the fixture. So I did never start it myself with this bulb, unfortunately. Let's take a look at uh, how this fixture is built because it's it's a really special design here the top you can see it's uh, really really weathered the um, paint has gotten really thin it's the original paint uh, to this fixture still and uh, here we have the Siemens logo and uh, beside that the drop that means it's for out outdoor use and the two uh, squares here they mean that this fixture although it is from metal it does not require any grounding it's a special feature of this fixture that was very unusual for the time and then uh, the way you open this fixture is also very unusual because you unlatch here and unlatch on the other side and this whole thing comes off leaving just the bulb sticking out and then you have to take the gear out and then you can connect the fixture. And uh, you can do all of that without using tools. So it's a pretty neat design actually. Here the bowl also has seen uh, better days. This bowl actually was used like that for many, many years. And because of the hole that was here and you can still see it, uh, there were very many insects inside of this fixture this was running with mercury vapor all night I kind of fixed it this uh, bowl and uh, It's not the best job, but it was really hard to do My objective was that it has no more holes in it and I plugged the hole I just glued it together. It's not the prettiest, but this bowls from what I know you cannot get anymore so Unfortunately, that's what we have to work with. Uh, the bowl is held on by five of these, these metal clips here. So the bowl itself, you can change it out, but it's kind of a hard job because you have to align also the this blue gasket that is uh, under here while doing that. And it's, it's not that easy. Uh, so inside you can see there is a reflector made uh, just from a aluminum sheet that is bent in a U shape. So it's not a reflector like you usually have that is like um, shaped around the bulb. This one is more of a reflector that gives off a really wide angle of light. And uh, let's uh, shortly disassemble part of this fixture. Let's take off the bowl and taking off the bowl with this fixture means uh, to take off the canopy also so you unlatch here and there and it comes off just like that and let's put it down and now we can see the bulb is 
pretty oddly sticking out here and uh, let's have a look at the insides let's have a quick look at the ballast compartment of this fixture uh, you can take it out of the fixture without using any tools if you just undo this clip here and uh, this unblocks uh, the groove that is here on one of uh, these two pins that holds it in the fixture and you can actually take it off. Here you have the E27 socket for the 80 or 125 watt mercury vapor bulb and last but not least here the sticker that states this is the 5NA585 that is für Lampen HQL 80 Watt oder HQL 125 Watt that means it's for 80 or 125 Watt uh, lamps mercury vapor 220 volt which was the standard at the time 50 Hertz and then when we turn this ah, actually here there is the Siemens logo on here too and the ballast here is really really heavily rusted you can see you can not read anything on it anymore unfortunately and i i believe it is wired for 80 watt that's what i will use right now so we will try out how this ballast actually still works it works mighty fine and while we are at it let's show the inside here here is a terminal with only two connections because of this plastic lining here. The fixture is German Schutzklasse 2. That means uh, it has not to be grounded. And here are these two pins that go into these holes uh, on the fixture here. Actually, you can see this, uh, this groove here that uh, serves uh, to block it from falling out. And uh, this one is a little bit more rusted, that's why it's so dark actually. So as now we have the fixture back together, let's uh, fire it up. I think I will set you down for a little bit and let's start this fixture up. Here we have the mercury vapor glow. The ballast is kind of loud, but not really, really loud. You can hear it a little bit, but as we have seen, this ballast has seen very, very, very many hours of use. So no wonder I must say it's a quality ballast because it seems to still be the original and it's still working even after 40 years of almighty use so as the fixture is warming up you can see this reflector uh, does not concentrate the light as a reflector that is kind of shaped around the bulb but it's more like of a widespread angle that it puts the light out it's a really old design by Siemens and later they also introduced the reflector that was shaped around the bulb so the classic reflector that would be like this around the bulb and not like just like this, this sheet. But they continued selling this one until almost the end of the production. Interesting, you could choose which one you wanted. So now we can, as the bulb warms up, the ballast gets a little quieter. Like it's often is with this older ballast. And the fixture gives off the light, of course, mostly like along the street, even with this unusual reflector. The bowl 
now it's not that bad as you would think so it still outputs a lot of light and I must say it's a really respect to Siemens and for the quality of this fixture it's whole in aluminum casting but still it's very very light it's a very lightweight casting this fixture is not heavy in any way it hasn't weathered that much even if it was for over 40 years outside on a building and um, this uh, quality is not something that you would find today anymore so no LED fixture probably will outlast this one in any way shape or form and this was taken down because of new construction and not even because it was changed to LED or anything it just became obsolete at some point as they construct new buildings around it that got their lights and this building didn't have to have the light anymore and well it could serve another 40 years I bet that's no problem so the quality is really really impressive I must say now we have the fully warmed up glowing mercury vapor lamp this particular lamp is has seen some use already so it's a used bulb it's not as bright as a new bulb would be but still a really really nice mercury vapor glow from this lamp so i hope you liked this mercury vapor fixture here the Siemens Kleiner Klassiker or 5NA and thank you very much for watching the video see you next time bye bye